All right, everyone, I just got back from my first ride since the uh, last break-in oil change. Um, man, this thing is freaking fast. I took it up to 14,000 RPM in second gear, hit third gear, and I backed off because it was just way, way too fast. But yeah, it's fun. Um, today was a nice day. It is a nice day here in Washington State. You can see the sun's out. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know how it went. Now, I see people online, you know, doing the five things they hate about the motorcycle, five things they love about the motorcycle. Well, I want to go over just a couple small things that I don't like. I like everything about it. There's just two small things. So I don't know if they're really things I hate, but things that hopefully can be fixed. First thing is my cruise control stopped working. Um, I only have oh, about 577 miles on the bike and it turns on like that. But when I go to set it, at the um, speed you're supposed to set it at, it doesn't doesn't turn on. So I went to the dealer and they just said, bring it in, they'll diagnose it, but I just haven't had time to take it in. Not a big deal if it gets fixed. I mean, I like having cruise control because it gives your wrist a break, you know, when you're cruising along, so. All right, the biggest thing that I don't like is this right here. This throttle, when you're cruising along and you have it just cracked and you let it off, man, the thing just shuts off and it nosedives, especially in the higher RPM. When you're in the higher RPM and you're trying to feather the throttle, when it cuts off, it cuts off and it nosedives and it's so unsettling. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Now, I've had the computer flashed or the ECU flashed by Two Wheel Dyna Works and to take off the restrictions and they took off the d-cell cut but it does not help he the dyno operator at two wheel dyno works said the only way that they can really do it is if they adjust the fuel map and adjusting the fuel map with the stock uh exhaust and the um catalytic converter inside there he said they really can't do anything so my plan is right here. I wasn't going to show this until I was ready to install it, but I purchased, let me get it out of there, this. This is the Aero Link Pipe. This will eliminate my cat and my exhaust servo and allow me to get the bike more dialed in fuel wise. Um, it'll eliminate the O2 sensor. Um, it'll get rid of the uh, uh, exhaust valve. So this link pipe is made by Aero. Um, I bought it from Pit Lane Motor Sports. Let me see. Where's the Pit Lane Moto? It took a little while to get, but they're the cheapest online. It was only $177 shipped. And the reason I went with this, this one is because when it's hooked up, it allows you to keep your stock heat shield. So if you look down here, some of these link pipes get rid of this uh, heat shield right here. So it goes from your stock exhaust into that. You just see it running down here. I just wanted to keep the stock uh, heat shield so that's why I went with that one I'm gonna keep the stock exhaust right now um, just because it's gonna keep the bike quieter somewhat but it'll still sound better once I get the link pipe on so I am hoping that with the link pipe um, and the new ECU flash after that will help with this because right now this is terrible. I can't freaking stand it. It almost makes the bike 
not that much fun to ride in the higher RPMs like that. If you're just cruising in sixth gear, doing about 40 miles an hour, the transition is, is abrupt. But man, when you start going, that on-off throttle is just freaking terrible. I almost swore right there because I wanted to, I'm just, it's so irritating. But I mean, it's not something that I didn't know about because a lot of people talk about it online, about how the, the throttle is the worst. Chris Moore talks about it, says that the Kawasaki is the worst riding motorcycle stock. And I 100% believe him. I mean, obviously I've witnessed it, experienced it. So if you're in the market for one of these bikes, just know that that's going to suck. And hopefully that there's something we can do about it in the ECU flash. And I will keep you informed when I have that done. Um, I don't know when I'm going to put the link pipe on um, because I want to go get it dyno tuned right after that. Um, and I'm kind of busy right now. Um, I'm retired, but I'm semi-retired. I'm back to work. I can work 480 hours in the trade every year. So I'm in the process of working, doing my 480 hours. Um, so hopefully in the next few weeks, I'll have time to take it uh, into the dyno and also into Kawasaki Adventure Motorsports in Monroe to have the cruise control diagnosed, see what's wrong with it. Not a big deal, but it'd be nice to have it working. You know, it's a brand new bike and kind of sucks when things stop working. Um, but yeah, I just went on a nice ride today. Had a great time. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys informed. Um, I also wanted to say thanks to all my new subscribers. Um, it's gone up quite a bit in the last uh, couple months or so. And I'm not sure. I see more content or more, excuse me, not more content. I see more views on my R3 videos than my ZX-10R videos. So I'm hoping to get more um, content with the R3. Um, I do plan on buying a uh, GoPro in the next few weeks and I don't know, maybe take you guys along on some of my rides. I mean, we have some really beautiful roads here in Washington, nice back roads, twisties, things like that. Um, I'm hoping maybe I can take you guys to the track for my track day on May 8th on the R3. Um, that'll be kind of fun. And I'd just like to have a GoPro just to have with me uh, when I'm riding, just to document you know, stupid people doing stupid stuff, you know, just for my safety, um, legality, things like that. So, uh, keep an eye out for that. It's going to be in the next couple weeks. Uh, then I got to learn how to do all the editing and stuff on it. I think that's probably the hardest part. So, um, yeah, just stay tuned and hope you guys stick with me and you enjoy the videos. This is Mr. Russell signing off.